Hello, welcome to the video. Um, you see me sat on the cold floor. Any cars driving past are gonna think I'm an idiot, but I don't really care. A while ago, I put on my Instagram um, the M Performance exhaust tips for the M3, M4, the M2. Um, I asked, I asked my my followers, my my subscribers, um, if I should get the black or the silver tips, the chrome. As you can see by the results, everyone chose black. Um, but my car has silver wheels, and I didn't really want to be paying a bunch of money for essentially black tips. So. They've arrived, and I've ordered the silver tips. They're absolutely massive. Look at that, they're huge. Um, so, first of all, big shout out to Elite Carbon. Um, he used the guy who supplied me these tips. Really, really appreciate it. I bought these, these set of four um, with another guy called Will who's got a black M2 comp. You guys would have seen him in the Caffeine in Machine video. So I've got his set here as well. Um, I've got to go and deliver those to him at some point. But these are gonna absolutely transform the look of the car. You can see how kind of the, the tips sit quite far in. Um, these will, will make the car look so much more aggressive. Um, they're just massive. So I'm really, really excited for this. These and then if I do get a PCW exhaust or whatever exhaust option I do go down, these are gonna completely change the car. Um, it's gonna give it that OEM plus look as well, I think. With the, the box spray painted black, it's gonna look really good. So as you can see, when you kind of stand over the car, you can't see the tips. They sit really far in. Um, it's kind of the one thing that I think is letting down the car. So these tips are gonna essentially, if I can, they're essentially gonna be about that far out. Um, and they're, they're much, much more aggressive. Um, and, and they just look a lot nicer. So basically I just have to hack these off with a, with a rubber hammer, um, just knock them off. And then it's just a matter of slipping these on um, and then tight, tightening the, um, the bolts. And then perfect, we'll be good to go. It doesn't add any sound performance, but aesthetically it'll look a lot nicer. Put some WD-40 on the tips, just to kind of loosen it up a little bit. Rubber mallet, block of wood, let's get hammering. such an awkward position. Right, so I put an Instagram story up and good old Will from Flawless Detailing has said, um, has said that I can head down to his detailing shop and I can stick up on the ramp, so thank you very much Will um, from Flawless Detailing. Let's head on over. Thank you very much, Will from Flawless Detailing. It's the first time my car's ever been on a ramp. As if we've undone the Allen. No, there's nothing to undo, you just gotta knock them off. There's an Allen? No, that's a, that's a stopper to stop it going too far back. But you've got to be really interested, no? Oh, of course, it's easy. He does it first time. <laughs> <laughs> of course, he does it first time. <laughs> Mate, on. It's, it's, sorry. Well, I can't get the <laughs> angle on this one, can I? But let's try. Hang on, let me. It's just a bit tough. Of course, he gets it first time. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Bill. That's all right, mate. No worry. That's what I'm here for. Easy. There you go. There you go, mate. Right. Yeah, that one was a bit fucking... Okay. 
I think Will's probably got a little bit more grunt than I have. It's probably because he works on cars all day long and I was probably being babying it a little bit and trying to be too nice and kind of lightly hammering it. He just went ham. <laughs> he just straight in went for it. So tips are finally off. Uh, I won't be using these ever again. Because the new ones are going on. So these are the tips. Um, what the thing is, there's this kind of little, little metal pin, um, which means that I may have to saw it off. The pin is there to essentially um, tell you how far the tip goes back to kind of stop it from going any further back. Um, I may have to saw it off if I feel like the tip sticks, sticks too far out. We'll have a little look and decide. Actually, that's not bad. I don't need to saw, saw the little pin at all. If you have a little look, that's as far as it goes back. See how the little metal pin is there? That stops it from going any further back. That looks fine. That looks good to me, to be honest. I, I, I wouldn't need that any further back, I don't think. Um, yeah, that looks good. For me, it's perfect, but I'm like, I don't know, I just don't want to see the shitty back. <laughs> <laughs> no, when, if you, for, when you look down, you for me personally, I'm turn, turn the head torture. For me personally, I don't like tips that come out really far. And as I said, when the exhaust heats up, it will come further back, but that's just my opinion. Some people do like them to be out like there but it looks a little bit too aftermarket it just it, it doesn't look very oem plus yeah that so, does stick out quite which well. for me regardless of all the things i do on my car i like it to sort of have that sort of oem plus look so, yeah. so but you know it's, it's personal preference really but to be fair from the side that's where i saw it that's i saw right. it from the side yeah yeah but when you stand right above it you can barely see the end yeah, maybe, okay, so maybe even if you bring maybe it out, attack. but then it would stress me out because I don't know, because you see how that's, a, that, that's the distance set, yep. but is that perfect? Is that, who knows at this point in time? Like no, no one, yeah, yeah, is, yeah. is that the perfect distance or should it be closer? Should it be further away? And that stresses me out. So that for me, you know it's, you know that that's how God intended yeah, yeah, to be. Yeah, yeah. Start with the right hand one first so I can get on this side. All right, hopefully you can hear me over the noise, but the tips are finally on. Let's close the boot. Let's have a look. Look at that. Oh, they do look good. I think we got it right with how far the tips come out. Um, if they stuck out too far, it looks a bit obnoxious and not really OEM plus. Lots of hard work. Thank you again to Will from Flawless Detailing. I'll link him down below. I'll see you later in the next video. Like and subscribe, the usual. Bye bye. I'm out here taking some pictures and some B roll footage, and I can't get over how good they look. It's been a couple of days since I've installed them. The car is absolutely filthy now, but I just can't get over how good they look. They just completely transform the car. They make the back so much more aggressive, I think, with how like the old ones used to sit in. And the chrome, I'm really, really glad I went with the chrome because it kind of, it literally just matches the wheels and and when they're dirty, they're more like a brushed um, aluminium color. I, I just, look, I, th I think they look great from the side. Oh, they haven't fallen off yet either, <laughs> which I'm really happy about. I think they, it, it just massively sets the car apart. So if you've got stock tips and you want to get some tips on your car, I highly recommend the M Performance ones. Obviously, if you're gonna get an axle back exhaust, if you're gonna get an exhaust system, you need to make sure that the tips that you're getting, um, obviously if you get like a Remus, the Remus tips are gonna fit that. I do know a guy who has a Remus system and he has M Performance tips. So if you do get M Performance tips, um, these do fit a Remus axle back system. Um, the the guy who's done it though, he's gone and got, uh, he had to get some extra kind of metal to weld onto um, each end because essentially the Remus axle back doesn't, it's not long enough. So you need a little bit of extra metal um, just to weld onto the end of the Remus system so you can connect your end performance tips on, but they do work. So, you know, if you're gonna spend money on these and then get a Remus later on, you're not wasting your money, they'll, they'll still fit. I love them, I'm really, really happy. Um, 
and thank you thank you for watching i'm gonna shut up now goodbye